Hi, I'm Noreena Pallo. Welcome to The Blues Kitchen. Noreena Pallo is a British songwriter, singer and producer. Noreena has been nominated for both Brit and Ivor Novello Awards alongside releasing five critically acclaimed albums. We discuss her ambitious project of releasing 12 EPs over the course of one year and Noreena performs a beautiful version of Dusty Springfield's Son of a Preacher Man. And while you're watching, subscribe to the channel for regular episodes of The Blues Kitchen Presents. Noreena, welcome to The Blues Kitchen. Thank you for having me. Pleasure. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. It's, um, it's late spring and <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, and the summer's ahead. It's all good. Nice. So, in a short while, you're going to be doing a version of Dusty Springfield's Son of a Preacher Man. Yes. Yeah. Before we get to that, let's talk a bit about your recordings of the year. I believe you're six albums in, is that right? Yeah. I'm particularly interested in the project you did where you were doing an EP every month for a year, a couple of years back. Can you maybe tell us about what inspired that idea and whether you ended up regretting it halfway through the year or whether it's something you enjoyed? I was... In the studio, uh, I was in Rack actually, um, a studio in North London, and I was uh, making a Christmas EP. I just in sort of the autumn, like you do. As you I do. Yeah, whenever you make Christmas music, you make it in completely the wrong time of year. <laughs> and I only had a day to do it, and I really enjoyed it. I was with my band, and we cut it really fast, and um, I had to write it all really fast. I just got this idea into my head. I wanted to do it, but obviously because of the time frame, I had to do it quickly. And I remember turning to the band. We had been drinking wine at this point. It was about 11 o'clock at night going, we should do this like all the time. This is the way forward to make music, you know, not angsting too much. And we all had a laugh. And then I woke up the next day and I thought, well, actually, yeah, let's do it. Let's set myself a target. Um, at the point, I hadn't thought about it that nobody would ever done it. I've subsequently learnt out, found out that nobody's ever done that before, maybe. <laughs> There's a reason why. New ground. But it became this... I don't, it, was a real, it was really interesting because it taught me a lot about myself as well and writing in a much more disciplined way and having to write. I was making five songs per EP per mm -hmm. month. But um, I obviously didn't want them to be five crap songs, so I would write ten songs a month and then whittle it down to five. And I had to keep doing it. I had to show up. I had to break out of my lion bed till 11, whatever, and get up every morning and keep banker's hours. Um, there must have been moments where you're just like, oh, really? Yeah. Am I doing this? Yeah. What happened was in the... In the January, I, I put it to my fans on social media, I'm going to do this. And I said, and there'll be a subscription model. You can either buy them monthly, or if you pay now, I'll give you the whole year for a reduced price. Mm. And I thought literally like 10 people will sign up. Well, loads of people signed up. And I was like, oh, I've got to make this happen. I'm bound to it. <laughs> I'm bound to it. Yeah, I can't <laughs> let people down. And the first few months, it was the novelty of it. I also had a few songs left from the year before. So I was feeling like, I'm doing this. This is great. And then I hit a block. And that oh, no. was really interesting because I really was like about four or five days where nothing was coming. And then and four or five days out of a whole month, yeah, quite a chunk. Yeah, didn't have time. So what I found was that whenever I'd hit a block, I would turn it on, on its head and instead of being really sort of like navel-gazy and right for me, I would be like, imagine I was writing for another artist or imagine I had a brief or, and I have to write in certain parameters. And it was, it was really great because I suddenly made myself try music I've never tried before. Mm. Um, sometimes musicians weren't around, so there's a few EPs I made the whole lot on my own. So I had to start. I used to play bass a lot years ago, weirdly. I hadn't played it for about a decade. I started playing bass again. You know, there's some I'm even playing drums on. So it pushed me to just have fun, be resourceful. And when I got to the end of it, I, I, I was really like, I was quite proud of myself. Not necessarily some of the work I listened to, I'm like, oh, that was a bit rushed but to set an ambitious project and see it through. Let's have a bit of a chat about the tune you're going to perform for us in a moment. You're going to do Dusty Springfield's Son of a Preacher Man. Yeah. For a lot of people my age, I think they first heard that tune through um, the Tarantino film, Pulp Fiction, I believe. Um, but it's on Dusty in Memphis, which yeah. I, I admit I discovered after that film soundtrack, which is an incredible record. Incredible record. A British uh, singer going out to record in Memphis, hence the title. Yeah. Um, but when did you first hear it? And what, what effect did it have on you when you first heard the tune? I can't remember the first time I heard it, because I've always heard it. My mum is a massive Dusty fan, so I grew up listening to those records. Yeah. Um, that sound was always on. And then I was, a, I was um, 
your bog standard cover singer for years when I was trying to break into the music business. And mm. that was the one song I would sing at nearly every gig. Um, but weirdly, uh, until till now, I've never played it. I've only ever sung it. And when I sat down to learn it, I was like, how has it escaped me that this is a blues? It's just a blues. Mm -hmm. And yet, in because the orchestration is quite quite something, you know, the, 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 that record is a fabulous record, I never realised how simple it is. Because to me, it was this great, amazing, symphonic moment in time, you know. And there's that incredible key change into the middle eight where everything moves up a gear and you're like, wow, it's a different country altogether. <laughs> um, and she's so understated when she sings it. It's not, it's not a big old thing that for the last chorus. beautiful kind of husk that she has. Yeah. And that's why I love her, you know. She thinks she's really... Uh, is she underrated? Or I, I worry that she might be forgotten. Um, I just think that because she's British, a lot of people think that's an American song. Yeah. And that it's recorded over there. I, I think that if you were to say who sung Son of a Preacher Man to maybe the average person, they might say uh, Aretha Franklin, perhaps. Yeah. Um, I think Aretha's done a version of it. I think so, yeah, yeah. And it's one of those things where it's like, everyone knows a song, but maybe not necessarily whom yeah. it's by in the first place. Yeah. But I think once they get hooked and then they discover Dusty in Memphis, they're like... Wow. Yes, yeah, Wind Words of My Mind is on that record. Yeah, well, it's it? an amazing record. Well, I reckon on that note, it's probably time to introduce your performance, if that's all right. Of course. Um, this is Dusty Springfield's Son of a Preacher Man. Billy Ray was a preacher's son, and when his daddy would visit, he'd come along. And I got around and started talking This when Billy would take me walking Out through the backyard we go walking Then he'd look into my eyes Lord knows to my surprise The only one who could ever reach me Was the son of a preacher man The only boy who could ever teach me Was the son of a preacher man Yes he was, he was Yes, he was Being good isn't always easy No matter how hard I try When I started sweet talking to me Kiss and tell me everything is alright Kiss and tell me everything is alright Can I get it with you again and die? The only one who could ever reach me Was the son of a preacher man only boy who could ever teach me Was the son of a preacher man Yes, he was He was mm, Yes, he was How will I remember The look was in his eyes Still a kiss from me on the side Ticking down on me time Telling me that he's all mine Learning from each other's no Gonna see how much we've grown And the only one who could ever reach me Was the son of a preacher man The only boy who could ever teach me Was the son of a preacher man Yes, he was He was Ooh, Yes, he was He was a sweet-talking son of a preacher man He was Sweet talking son of a preacher man Yes he was He was Oh He was Subscribe to The Blues Kitchen for live performances and interviews with the hottest blues, soul, country and roots musicians in the world today. Mm -hmm.